Middleton. Share it with friends. If you look at towns that are the most successful, creatives are so important to any town. I mean, it's sort of the lifeblood, it's sort of the blood that keeps things generating and growing and people thinking. We have lots of people that come in here and say, they don't know what this is, what is this? It's the old town hall that was turned into a theater in 1982 by the, actually the city council president at that time said this town needs a theater. So they did a little fundraising in the 80s and they built the theater upstairs and now we're a fully functioning theater with a full load of main stage performances and a whole bunch of educational programming for children. One of the reasons I love being at this theater is I love organizations that are part of the community that reach out and embrace the community and consider we're the servants of the community. We're, we're trying to make this theater just the most welcoming, wonderful place that anybody can walk into, and they do. I'd like to make an announcement if anybody should run into the Dietrich legs, would you please ask them both to come back to the tent? They're wearing Marlena's last pair of nylon stockings. The Elmo Draft House is essentially a movie theater, bar, and restaurant all wrapped into one. We have our own tap room, glass half full. We also have seven theaters uh, for movies where you can also eat and drink during the film. What, what sets us apart from a lot of other movie theaters and similar concepts is the quality, also uh, the variety of the programming. You know, we have first run, so you can see you know the latest Tim Burton flick or you can also see you know, a horror movie in 35 millimeter from the 70s, um, all in the same day. We're always open to feedback and changing, and as we expand and as we grow in this community, we wanna make sure that we're a really important part. What can we change and what can we adjust to make sure that we're giving our community the best we can give them? The art program is situated in the Art and Design Center, which is away from the main campus, close to downtown Littleton. We have a range of programs from photography, which are digital and analog, darkroom photography. We have ceramics, 3D design, sculpture, um, painting, drawing, 2D media, but we also have CTE programs that are career technical education. And those range from architecture to CAD to advanced manufacturing. We also have an interior design program that's award-winning and um, graphic design and web design. It's really affordable. So that brings community members into the mix with working artists who want studio spaces to use and with degree-seeking students. So in the same classroom, you've got this really mixed demographic of people and it creates an energy that's pretty unique. Littleton's art and culture scene is probably my favorite among the different arts environments throughout the Denver metro area. Part of the reason is it's not a big art party all the time. It's not spilling out into the streets. It's family oriented. This is a historical building. I think it's around 150 years old. It was a depot, um, so people bought their tickets here and waited for the train. We were fortunate enough to come into it. I think it's been maybe 
uh, 40, 50 years that we've been here. Well, I like the, uh, the community of artists that are here and uh, the way we support each other. And also the diversity. Uh, there are people that work in a lot of media. I'm an oil painter and sometimes I do pastel, but we have uh, sculptors and we have people that make pottery and jewelry. And, and it's interesting to have a community of people that appreciate art but approach it from different directions. I think we have a really great art and cultural scene. I know it's just it's a great area for both arts and culture. The Littleton Museum is, is kind of the premier arts and culture facility here in Littleton, particularly maybe even for the South Metro area. We provide both a series of really high quality exhibits, um, high quality special events, and also kind of a, an opportunity for maybe just sort of that getting back to a little more of the country type of feel with the, with the two living history farms. So it's an opportunity really to step back into the past of Littleton, uh, visit a little bit about that, and also have a nice time with, uh, with arts and, uh, and events here in the, in the museum also. There are a lot of things that make Littleton Littleton, and one of those things is, is our commitment to cultural amenities. Our library, our museum, Town Hall Arts Center, you know, things that are here in Littleton make us unique. They're not the kind of things that you would see in normal you know, suburbs of 45,000. There is a real uh, investment on the part of the city of Littleton in arts and culture and history, and I think that's one of the things that really sets Littleton apart.